welcome to Exodus 32. We're looking at verses 22 and 23. And here's what Moses, here's what Aaron's response is. Aaron said, do not let the anger of my Lord burn. You know the people yourself that they are prone to evil. For they said to me, make a God for us who will go before us. For this Moses, the man who brought us up from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. So that's the reaction of Aaron. First of all, it's the people. The people are defective. It's the people that are messed up. Hey, you know, I'm just the leader here, uh, but the people are messed up. And then he points out, well, you know, we haven't seen you for a while. You've been up there in the mountain with God. And so basically he says the people are weak in faith. They're having trouble with something they can't see. God is the unseen, the invisible God. He doesn't want us to make an idol for him or anything. And so you're gone. You're the visible representation of God. You, Moses, have sort of, you know, been gone. Well, when God calls you to a meeting with him, you don't leave early. You know, you you say, yes, sir. And you, you, you follow along with everything that God has. So here what we have is uh, the excuses. Aaron is making these excuses, but he hasn't come to the biggest excuse yet, the biggest crazy thing he's going to say. But he's laying the blame. The blame has landed on him, which is squarely where it should be. Now Aaron is laying the blame on the people. And again, I think when we look at the state of the church today uh, across the globe, what do we see? Do we see leaders who are loaning up to things? Do we see leaders that are going in the right direction? Well, pray for your leaders because they certainly need it. But in some cases, at least, we see leaders who are not owning up. They're not taking responsibility. And here Aaron is laying, their, it's the people, it's their problem. You know, I'm just the leader around here. Well, you're not really a leader then, are you? So he's putting the responsibility on the people. Uh, don't be too angry. Don't be too angry with them because look what's going on. You know, it's like Aaron is saying to Moses, what do you expect? Look at these people. And these people are a mess. They've just come out of centuries of slavery. So there are problems. Uh, but, uh, but Aaron could have prevented a lot of this. And if the people are weak in faith, isn't it true that Aaron is weak in faith? Why didn't Aaron say, well, I'm going to resist this no matter what, because God will have, God will take care of me. God will take care of this, and I'm going to express faith in God by saying, absolutely not. No, we're not making a calf. Um, so the people were weak in faith. Yes, Aaron was weak in faith, too.